Hey folks, so lately I've been wrestling crocodiles, specifically this cranky crocodile that was designed by KevBot. Dot. If you want to get better quality 3D prints, then hit that subscribe button. The first Cranky Croc that I printed, I used my typical standard settings, and it came out fantastic in the red, but the moment that I used those same settings with the black, it came out terrible. The stringing is atrocious on this Cranky Croc. So now I'm going to walk you through what I did in order to be able to get from this stringy croc to this beautifully finished croc where there's no stringing the detail is fantastic and honestly hats off to kev for this really cool and fun design i really really like it very simple so my first thoughts when looking at this stringing i thought maybe i got a little bit lazy or cocky in the storage of my filament and maybe my filament got damp or absorbed some moisture i dried the filament and it got a little bit cleaner not much there's still a lot of strings through there so i thought eh, maybe it's not dry enough so i ended up adding a, a sensor a gauge in order to be able to read the humidity level in the storage bag that i've got so i dried it some more and there was no change after drying it some more and it basically dried out for uh plus 30 hours by the time all was said and done. So I was like, okay, there's something else at play here. So I went and I ended up turning up the temperature. So normally I'm running at like 205, but I turned this up to uh, 215 to see if there was any difference there. And there's still a lot of stringing in that crocodile. So I decided I would turn the temperature down. So I turned it down to 190 and I ended up with a real mess. I mean, this thing is just absolutely falling apart. So that was much too low. From there, I ended up increasing my retraction distance and speed. And I still ended up with the same mess. I knew 100% that it was an issue with the filament. It was basically a brand new roll that had been open for I don't know how long, but there was something going on with the filament. So I was wondering, did it come that way from the manufacturer? Did I open it? I left it uh, out too long, but my other filaments weren't giving me any issues. So, I mean, I did all these other colors where everything came out great. The blue, it's beautiful, crisp and clean. It's pretty cool. The, uh, the yellow came out really well, really nice. And then even the... Uh, this is a rainbow filament, so it's green on one side and yellow on the other. That came out dynamite, so I knew it was a filament issue, but I didn't know exactly what it was. So, out of sheer desperation, I turned up the temperature of the nozzle to 230 degrees, and it came out beautiful, crisp and clean, just like the others. So... Oddly enough, this filament, for some reason, needs to run a lot hotter than the other filaments. So I just thought I would share the path to getting this great uh, cranky croc done. Uh, hats off to Kev Bot Dot. I really love this design. You should check out his channel. I've got links below. So if this video was helpful, consider checking out some of my other videos. I have lots of videos on troubleshooting, uh, 3D printing, and... Here's a couple examples above. 